Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my newest acquisition. I was not planning on buying this, but I just, <laughs> I had to. So uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, first off, guys, tonight, you're watching this on a Saturday afternoon tonight at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. I'm going to be going live. Uh, we always do that on Saturday nights, and I figured I should mention it in case you want to hang out. It's always a good time. Anyways, thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. I can almost guarantee that I will be talking about this quite a bit. That's definitely not the right way to approach that package. This package. Is we're gonna just power through it, right? We made the cut. We're gonna just have to accept that that's the cut we made, and then rip it open, right? That's fine. <laughs> You'd think that I'd have this down, unboxing so many things on this channel all the time, right? No. What do we have here another thing to get through? Fine. We have. Another hinderer. Surprise. Actually, a lot of you are going, <coughs> it's, it's been a while. You haven't bought a hinderer for a while. Because you guys keep buying them. Because I keep telling you guys to buy them. Um, yeah, so uh, let's just, let's get into this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and check the card. Always got to check the card. I'm always interested to know who put it together. Okay, I don't, I've, that must be somebody who's fairly new, or at least I've never received their name. So this is uh, this is a Hinder Eclipse, and it's from Southern Edges. Oh yeah, that's the new Eclipse Bowie. Oh, that's beautiful, guys. This is literally available right now. People are constantly messaging me on uh, YouTube and Instagram saying, "Where can I get a Hinder? I want a Hinder so bad." These are available. The reason I picked this up is because the only other time that this look has been achieved amidst everything that Hinder has ever done, say it with me, a lot of you guys already know, was back when they did the 0392 Bowie. The Zero Tolerance and Hinderer Factory Custom 0392 Bowie. Uh, that's the only time, the other, the only other time that this has been done and that was so long ago. So, um, I gotta be honest with you guys, the Bowie blade has never really been appealing to me on the XM18 three and a half inch, but it's like I was saying in a live stream here fairly recently, the lines on this, on the Eclipse, the lines are a bit more, let me get my, I'll get out my XM18 and the, my, my own personal 0392. The lines on the XM18 are a little bit more curved. This guy's a little bit more straight. Here's a, a 0392 with the uh, different blade, not the Bowie blade shape, right? But you can see here, same handle profile. The Bowie blade, for whatever reason, looks a lot better on the Eclipse to me than it does on the XM18 three and a half inch. I don't know why that is. I looked at this and looked at this and looked at it and eventually I just, it was all at once. I said, yep, I gotta have that. Um, so, uh, it just message to anybody who's never owned a Hinderer before, like if you're laboring over like, oh, I don't know what scale color to get. I'm not really, maybe I, the knife I want is available, but it's not the color of scale that I want. The, the scale that you get on the knife almost doesn't matter because if you're buying a hinderer, you will almost inevitably change it, right? So just buy, well, I mean, if you're, there's, I do not have an affiliate program set up with Southern Edges. I'm not selling this for them. I paid for this full price. I don't get anything if you guys go and buy Hinderer knives from Southern Edges. I'm literally just telling you, right, where they are so that you can get them. If you're watching this video the day that I uploaded it, you, you, you can get it. If you're watching it way in the future and you go and you're like, there's nothing there, it's because you're watching it in the future, right? But anyways, yeah, the Bowie, I think, looks a lot better on the Eclipse. Ergonomic lines on the Eclipse are absolutely better than on the Hinderer XM18. I love the XM18. The Eclipse has better ergonomic lines. It's also got a nice little port, a nice little cutout area for the flipper tab so it's not so obtrusive. And like I've said many times, there's no jimping back here, like on the XM18, so you're not slamming your finger into a, you know, 
basically a dead rosebush garden of awful jimping, right? These guys always come perfectly centered, as is the case right there. We got nice, early, solid lockup. No blade play up, down, left, and right. Yeah, it's the same thing. These are all triway now, which is excellent. The last time I owned an Eclipse, it was not a triway. What does that mean? It means that the internals can be swapped out. That was all this stuff that you saw right here. It's running on bearings currently, but the internals can be swapped out for phosphor bronze or nylon whenever you want to. You can do that. Another cool thing about the Eclipse is unlike the XM18, right? The XM18 is using a larger size hex screw. These are actually using... T6, which is kind of a bummer, right? I always prefer T8 or above, but it's okay. I've never had a problem with them in the past. And they're on both sides versus the XM18 having a Chicago end, right? You cannot switch out the XM18 hardware to an Eclipse uh, or vice versa unless it's an XM18 uh, three and a half inch sheep's foot, which shares the exact same hardware setup as the Eclipse for whatever reason. I think it's because of the profile of the blade and how the standoffs are a bit deeper on the Eclipse or something like that, right? But yeah, it has its own uh, hardware. I will be switching this. Yeah, it's always, people are always like, Kendra's come tip down? Yeah, I'll be switching it to tip up because because <laughs> I don't carry tip down. <clears throat> but yeah, the flipping action is excellent. This is exactly what I expected. Um, the uh, If you guys are you know wondering about the har the uh, scale thing, my comment there, yeah, I, I, I don't, I didn't really care what scale. I just, I just grabbed one. Uh, because I already have a scale on the way that I'm going to be um, switching out that OD Green one with. OD Green's fine, right? Um, but I bought a special uh, scale. I've been looking for a titanium one. So if you have a stonewashed textured titanium scale, email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com because I might be interested. But I did get something else I think will be really cool and look really, really nice on that. Um, and I'll share that with you guys as soon as it comes in. I was hoping that it would be in today, but it isn't. So... Yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. This is exactly what I expected it to be. Um, I uh, the, the flipper tab, I'm wondering here, is, yeah, it's ever so slightly less hook-shaped than on the XM18, right? So there's a lot of issues that have been, you know, people have been complaining about with the XM18 that are completely or relatively solved on the Eclipse. It is definitely more comfortable to flip. Uh, that is the case. How about thumb studs? Are those easily uh, easier to actuate? Yeah, I think so. Can I reverse flick this? Uh. <laughs> yeah, okay, we totally can. You just gotta get it at the right angle. Yeah, really cool. That'll be a nice one to add to the collection. I've really been kind of holding out for a cool Eclipse and I think the Bowie's the one that I wanna hang on to. Um, pretty neat. So yeah, you know, I don't know that there's a whole lot more that I can say here, guys. I'm happy uh, to have shared this with you. Like I said, if you want to hang out with me live tonight at nine o'clock Central Standard Time, come hang out. That's 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be doing a live stream tonight. Lots of cool stuff to share with you. Anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be pretty much it. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal Underscore Complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.